My name is Mabugala Zoe. Dominion, a big old Zike. I'm a professional hairstylist. Hello Ruth, I am a photographer. Elachi Angela, I'm into baking. This is Alex, I do internet services. My name is Alexandra Tioka. I started making hair at the 2007, but I learned from different professionals. During that period of learning from these people, I was already done from my secondary school education. That's uh, 2011, because I started hair, learning of hair at just three. So I was already done like with my O level. So in searching of admission, uh, I just had to summon courage to start my own business. When I applied for uh, my degree program at Benue State University, I continue working on that someone, which is in person of Ame, he's a very good professional stylist. So after learning from him and also working for him, being paid, for a long period of while, I now decided to start up my own. So I started my salon at Modern Market. Actually, my mom brought the idea of me learning hair making. She 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 makes hair very well. So she 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 she's like, I Dominion, you can smile, you have a way of doing things. So if you really learn this stuff, you become the best. So I started very small actually, it's not really easy by then, like let's say short brand should be at the rate of 30, 40 k like that at modern market. From there I just got a vision that okay, no, this place I am is too small. I had to move to Wadata where I was, the salon was like times two and I was just going to school at the same time and making it actually, it's not really easy. but. Everything has to do with focus and determination. I started baking right from secondary school. I fell in love with baking. Reasons because I was always around my aunt. She's into baking as well. Most times I follow her to her place of business. For the period of time I was waiting for my admission, I got into baking fully. I started with 5,000. I got my ingredients and every other thing I needed at that time. At 2.14, I gained admission into Benue State University to start study mass communication. After my first year, I started to go into the business proper. They making chin chin, I was making puff puff and just little things to class. I was thinking it was going to be slow, but my classmates, they encouraged me. People started ordering for cakes. I started making cakes for them. They love my work. Photography for me started as a necessity. My dad has a camera. So there was a certain time he was very ill. We could barely feed at that time. So one day I told him, I'm going to go for a wedding. I'm going to look out for a wedding and I'll take your camera to the wedding and I'll snap there. And it was like, oh, you have no experience with camera, what would you do? I said, just show me one or two and I will, and I will take care of it. And so he did. And then that Saturday morning, I picked up his camera. I scouted out for a wedding the day before that day and I discovered the location. Fortunately for me, that day happened to be one of the best day of my life. That day was how a photographer was born. And after that day, I started looking out for events. I started snapping at other places and then I joined a studio. It means studio. I also joined another studio, AAA. But now what I do more is um, freelance. So from time to time, when there are jobs, 
just to help me with school. I go when I don't have so much activities in school. I walk out there. I studied photography in 2015, and I can categorically tell you that photography actually paid my way through school. Some days, um, the jobs are not always there. People would always want to price you down, even if they know that this job is a very good job. You could have a job to do, maybe a wedding on a Saturday, and then a lecturer may just say, ah, there's a test. You understand you just have to be there so you now have to look for a way how you can balance these two things so you don't go astray you don't get one and lose the other because your degree is also very important in order to push you I started this work right from my secondary school from JS1. I'm studying sociology. By the grace of God, I'm in my 200 level. I, it has not been easy for me, although God has blessed me with some workers, and there are five in numbers, and they are of good help to me. When I'm not even there, when I'm in school, that they are covering me so that we will not delay the work. Without this, I think it will not be easy for me paying my school fees and uh, my handouts. But this has helped me a lot to do that. I started this business in 2011. I started this business up to a year and I gained admission. Through this business, I have been able to take care of myself from my 200 level to my final because in my 100 level, my parents stopped paying my school because they feel I had something doing. From that point, I started paying my school fees from my 200 level to my final year. Not just that I was able to pay my house rent and not just that I assist my parents in paying my juniors, my junior brother's school fees. around 1998. That was the time I was in secondary school. I learned it from uh, uh, Beno State uh, Entrepreneurship Center. After acquiring my skills there, I proceeded with the little money I have at hand. I had at hand at then to buy the little materials. By then the, shoe, the, the shop was not like this. I just tried to ob obtain some necessary tools and the implements to start this shop. When I gained admission, that was 2012. I do go to school, and when I have, when I have my leisure time, say my free my, my free period, I'll come back to my shop and make sure I serve my customers well. I have a lot of challenges in this shoemaking business. One of the challenges, time. I didn't have much time to attend to my customers. Maybe some of the times my customers will need me, will call me, I'm in lectures, you understand? Then, apart from that, uh, that of time, I have a challenge of finance. As you can see, I don't have anybody to finance me. I'm the one financing myself from the little money I have. And you know the materials are very cost. It's of recent that I start producing shoes. Before, I was based on only repairing, but now, I'm repairing and I'm making sure at the same time. 